it does fly good, yeah? Kurt Tank's first design for the German Air Force wasn't very good. But his next submission would be legendary. The Fokkerwolf 190. Also known as the Butcher Bird. A new addition to E-Flight's line of large molded foam electrics. Highly detailed. And with built-in telemetry. Will this model live up to its namesake? Well, let's find out. The factory paint scheme is fairly elaborate, replicating the plane flown by ace pilot Oscar Bosch. Like all the newest Eat Flight models, it has AS3X with selectable safe stabilization, plus smart tech telemetry. The model is very well packed in a crate like package with two layers. The manual is fairly short with clear instructions. Surface details is very good with lots of details such as panel lines and even rivets. Wing tips plug into the center wing and automatically connect to servo and electrical connections to the lights. Split flaps are contained within the center wing section. Fuselage is also filled with details like gun blisters, pilot figure, and abundant service details. Lots of stuff to practice your German with. Cockpit detail is reasonable if slightly simplistic, but it looks appropriately menacing head on. Nice exhaust details in the rear of cowl too. 460 kV motor is swallowed up by the cavernous cowl, which also directs cooling air directly into the smart speed controller. I also noted an air exit hole in the bottom of the fuselage. Generous space in the fuselage interior which has the new series of telemetry receivers. Battery connector line has a voltage ripple suppressor and IC5 smart battery plug. I was happy to see a functional engine cooling fan and detailed drop tank. Assembly starts with a tail where a carbon rod is first inserted, after which the horizontal stabs are slid into place. Screws then hold everything together. Snap the ball links in place. Special pliers can help with the process. Next install the self-aligning center wing section with four screws. The various guns are removable and screw into wing mounts. Propellers are mounted to the cooling fan with six screws and a metal back plate. Once mounted, the spinner uses a single center screw. Wing tips snap into place. And the slide-out battery tray is ready for battery of your choice. You have two ways to bind a receiver, either with a bind plug or by button press on the receiver. Here I'm using the bind plug. She's alive! At this point, I notice the shock absorbing struts. And I also noticed the elevator trim was way off. So first I readjusted the ball link, then I reset the rod length at the servo horn. Since this model has telemetry, I activated the telemetry auto configuration in the transmitter. Then set the battery low voltage alarm. Slap on the belly tank. And she's ready to go. It was a target-rich environment at the flying field in the form of models and real aircraft. A good day indeed to take the Butcher Bird out for a spin. 
Okay, let's go. See, everything's in correct position. Ooh, tracking's good. Gear up. Whee, yes. Nice brightly takeoff. Throttle back. And a quick response check. Nice aileron response. Yes, the cover level was high. Do a couple of show passes here. <laughs> That's really nice. Change your roll. To the left. There we go. It handles really nice. I mean, there's no. You just take off and you just sort of sticks in the corner. Look at this. A nice little loop here. There we go. Yeah, it should be quite transmitter. Oh, very nice. Let's do a kind of go up and do a stall turn here. Go up, see how the rudder works. Kick it over. Yeah, nice kick over there. It's just a really nice handling plane. I really like it. You know, some planes, as soon as you get in the air, you realize, oh yeah, piece of cake. Time to get frisky. Oh, baby, rolling circle. <laughs> well, rolling half circle. All right, let me do a quick stall test here. Okay, throttle back. And we'll start feeding in some up, up. There's full up right there. Look at that, a little bit of fugoid. Kicking some rudder. Very nice, doesn't, doesn't even want to drop a wing. Ah, piece of cake. <laughs> It does fly good, yeah? Nice flying, it's uh, not gonna win any races, but it's, it's absolutely honest handling plane. Let me do some inverted here. There you go, look at that. Whee! Handles very really nice, inverted. Just minus amount of down. Do a push over there, look at that. So let me uh, try on the safe mode. I think the switch here. There we go, we're in safe mode. There is max roll. Wow, it's got a good amount of roll in it. Look at that. That's Full roll. So, uh, if you want to fly in safe mode, it's still pretty sprightly, but you won't overroll it. How about full up? There you go, about 45 degree max angle. All right. Let's see what else. Oh, yeah. My patented knife edge remover maneuver. They won't hold it. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> das needs more rudder, yeah. Okay. But still, there's a little snap here. <laughs> It'll be quite transmitter. Bring her back down out of stratosphere. So, so far, it's a really nice handling plane. Oh, there's my timer, so we'll do another pass here. Whee! All right, so we'll drop the gear. There's gear down. We got a little bit of wind today. I'll drop in one notch of flaps. Yeah, there we go. Handle real nice. Yeah, we'll slow down. Turn off the throttle there. Oh, she's kind of floaty. There we go. Oop. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> like I said, it's a little bit of a breeze today here. Very nice. <laughs> so I can get her to turn around. Pull the elevator in, there we go. And she's down. Wow, I love that spinner. All right. Now it was time to increase the gross weight with a 7,000 milliamp hour pack. And the external drop tank. Let's hope it doesn't take the flug out of the zug. Okay, we've got the battle configuration. We've got both a real and virtual tank. 
Got the drop tank is slapped on there and a 7,000 milliamp hour battery pack. So we've, we're going for, we're going for a ride. Hang on lady, we go for a ride. All right, see how she does. She's up, not a problem, gear up. Doesn't feel any different. Let me throttle back a little bit. <laughs> Funny how that take off, the wind picked up just as I took off. So it looks pretty good. Yeah, a little bit of down trim. Whee! <laughs> what are that? Doesn't look like it changed the speed much. Oh, there's a bit of a, a sound to it. Let's see if we can come down as you can hear it. <laughs> the butcher bird is screeching at me. Yeah, <laughs> she found her voice. <laughs> it's a screaming terror of the flying field. <laughs> so there's definitely a sound difference. Still seems just as aerobatic. There you go. Inverter is about the same. I found hardly any difference with the drop tank and large battery. <laughs> I like that sound. <laughs> so I wonder if, uh, since we got a little bit more uh, frontal area, cross-sectional front area, change the knife edge ability. Uh, not really. Very, very slightly. So I wonder what kind of vertical we get with all this extra weight and drag. Full power, go vertical. Not bad. Yeah. Well, it's still going. Still going. Still going. Still going. Wow. Let me bring it back down. Goodbye. <laughs> Cameraman straighten. Very impressive vertical, even heavily loaded. No power. <laughs> so, wow, I thought it petered out, but it didn't. It just kept going. So, big battery pack. Belly tank? No problem. How do you say no problem in German? Throw it back. We've dropped in some flaps. We'll go full flaps here. Oh, a little bit of a pitch up there. Cut the throttle. Let's see what she does. There's no throttle. I'm gonna feed it some up elevator. Some up. Some up. A little bit of up. Not quite full. There's full up. A little bit of a wing rock, but it sort of just kind of bobs. Look at that. <laughs> and the rudder's still positive. Pop back up again. So they've got a really nice sounding plane. CG is, feels perfect. Power is good. Handling is fantastic. Indeed, the butcher bird is quite benign. Whee! <laughs> Snaps a bit better to the right. It's half throttle. Ticks down pretty good. Pour on the coals. A little four pointer there. All right, so let's uh, go into safe mode, drop the gear, add in some flaps. And so we're going to land her in safe mode. Get a little bit of throttle there. Yeah, I always forget when safe mode you got to sort of hold in the aileron control there. There we go. You can really set up a nice slow approach. Let's go full flaps here. <laughs> a little bit of a bounce, but not bad. Almost a three-pointer. Uh oh, grass, 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 grass. Oh, we just missed it. Where's the flaps? Ah, uh, ja volt. Very good. And there we are, folks. The E-Fly 1.5 millimeter. Fuck off 190. So, years ago, I read this book by Adolf Galland, a famed German fighter pilot who fought in the Spanish Civil War all the way up to the end of World War II. And he said that Hitler should have canceled the production of all fighter aircraft except for the ME-262 jet and the FW-190. He was particularly fond of the A model, which this is. And now another bit of random information involved the cowl. 
you saw before the distinctive integrated cooling fan blades that uh, that are spun up with the propeller. Well, in the full scale, this is actually geared and spun at something like well, twice the speed of the propeller. And the oil cooler was actually integrated into the concentric shape of the cowl on, on the leading edge. So uh, I was thinking if you really wanted to take one of these down in a fight, just aim for the nose as there's quite a bit of delicate bits there apparently. So anyways, I, I did find this model uh, version of the Butcher Bird, as it's called, to be quite docile and easy to fly. Uh, it's also reasonably aerobatic and very stable on the ground and in the air. And the cavernous interior easily swallows up even the biggest of packs with ease. While not perhaps the fastest in the lineup of E-Flight Foamies, it does make up for that in style and overall performance. So now I'll leave you with a joke. So an old fighter pilot uh, was telling war stories to some kids and when he told them, I was diving into attack when a Fokker got on my tail. And after some quick maneuvers, I was finally able to shake the Fokker off. At which point the teacher of the class said, well, the Fokker is a German fighter plane. Then the old man says, yes. But this was a Messerschmitt. Oh, my arms. <laughs>